Good morning, friends. I hope you are happy today. Your face is a show that you are interested to study in mathematics because it is a very lovely subject. Last time I had given one uh, problem. By making use of this square, you have to make a pot. A square becomes a pot. How? And see, in this square, all the four sides are equal. So by making the compass, you have to take the half of this radius. So from here, you have to make one sector. This is, from here, make another sector. From here, make another sector. From here, make another sector. So that means you will get four sectors. And the four sectors will make a circle. This is a square. So we have to make this one, we have to cut this one and make into the shape of a pot. That's the question. Now you see, take a compass and from here, this, all the four sides are equal. From here, take your, this much radius, make one sector in this way, this type of sector. See, this is this type of sector. This is one sector. And also, this is, from here also, draw in this manner, another sector. This is, another sector, made in the sector. This is, so also, from composite here, make this, another sector. This is another sector. This is, the fourth sector. This is the fourth sector. And the center part is just like this one. This one. So this one, this is the way you have to cut it. Then afterwards you have to rearrange it. Rearranging is in this manner. See this is a circle. This is this is the shape of a pot. I hope you understood this. Now today what we have to study is the tree of mathematics. Tree of mathematics. You might have seen trees. See, So this is mathematics. In this mathematics, there are so many branches. Branches. Say for example, there's a arithmetic. Algebra. See, arithmetic, algebra, then uh, geometry, this is the most important, arithmetic, algebra, geometry, then trigonometry, then calculus, then integration, etc. and so many. 
So all these are the branches, branches. So mathematics includes all these branches. See, in a tree there may be so many branches, so also in mathematics there are so many branches like arithmetic, algebra, geometry, trigonometry, calculus, integration, topology, all this will be there. Now what is geometry? Geometry means geometry. 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 Geo means earth. Geo means earth. Metry, metry means measurement. Therefore, geometry means measurement of the earth. Earlier, remember, this world it was a chaos. No shape. Then afterwards, the people came and they just uh, uh, plotted it. This triangle, circle, square, rectangle, and so on. In this way, they made it. So that is geometry. So after this plotting this, these shapes, the study of this shape will be geometry. I hope you understood. Then algebra means, algebra is x. So it is a, a statement which includes x and y. That means constant and also a variable. Look at it. Okay, so x is a variable. 2 is a constant. So in algebra, we will be studying constant and variable. So here also we will be studying this uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, division. So say for example, x plus x is equal to 2x. x minus x is equal to 0. x into x is equal to x square. x by x is equal to 1. So addition, subtraction, multiplication, division by means of variables. This also will be studying in algebra. And this is constant. Whereas in arithmetic, in arithmetic we will be having numbers, only constants. Numbers. So here numbers also, addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. Everything will be there. So remember, then geometry, it is this shape of so many things. And there you see, that this line is Line we will be studying one line. Line is just like this. This is line. This is a line. This side positive. This side negative. This is the center. This is zero. So this is zero. This is positive. This is negative. In geometry we will be studying this one. And also in geometry we will be studying triangle. This is, this is a triangle. This is a triangle. This will be triangles. So we'll be studying these triangles. And also, I told you about this, so this line. And this line, this is called a ray. This is called a ray. This is called a ray. That is one side. That is a ray. And this is called line segment. Line segment. All this you study it in segment. So remember, line. A ray, line segment, and this is a triangle. This is one triangle, this is another triangle. These two will be triangles. So this is, we will be studying this in geometry. And also in algebra we will be studying. Say for example, x plus 5 is equal to 8. What is x? What is x? So x is equal to 8 minus 5 is equal to 3. See, after getting, this is a solution. After getting the solution, we have to substitute here. So in the place of x, if you are putting 3, 3 plus 5 is equal to 8. Both sides equal. Both sides equal. So to find out the solution, algebra is very, very important. And also, arithmetic, 
everything is a number system. Number system in the sense, see, natural numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, and so on, natural numbers. Then, odd numbers, 1, 3, 5, 7, and so on. Even numbers, 2, 4, 6, 8, and so on. Then, square numbers, square numbers, 1, 1 square is 1, 2 square is 4, 3 square is 9, so square numbers. So, all this number system will be studying in arithmetic. And also trigonometry, trigonometry, in trigonometry, trigonometry about the right triangles. You know right triangles? This is called a right triangle. One is 90 degrees. See, by making some of the trigonometry, say, plane is going up. From here, you can just observe how much distance it is going. People will be shooting down. They will be calculating, they will be studying because of the study of trigonometry, they can just shoot down this one. And also, you see, by one coconut tree is the other side of a river. How much distance from here that we can calculate by means of this trigonometry? That means all these branches include mathematics. I hope you are following. So, I'm not going in detail, but the basic things you have to know. Now you see, I'll be giving one small question. Say for example, add two numbers, multiply two numbers, you will get the same answer. What are the numbers? Add two numbers, multiply the same two numbers, you will get the same answer. What are the numbers? This I will give you number two and two. Adding, that is two plus two is equal to four. Two into two is equal to four. Add two numbers, multiply two numbers, you will get the same answer. Now, the homework is this one. Add three numbers, multiply the same three numbers, you will get the same answer. What are the numbers? Add three numbers, multiply the same three numbers, you will get the same answer. What are the numbers? I hope when you are coming back, you will get the answer. Are you ready? So remember, once again the question is, add three numbers, multiply the same three numbers, you'll get the same answer. What are the numbers? So, thank you very much.